Worldwide, tobacco use causes more than 7 million deaths per year. Cigarette smoking is responsible for more than 480,000 deaths per year in the United States. That accounts to 1,300 deaths every single day. If smoking continues at the current rate among U.S. youth, 5.6 million of today's Americans younger than 18 years of age are expected to die prematurely from a smoking-related illness. Thousands of young adults start smoking cigarettes every day. Each day, about 2,000 people younger than 18 smoke their first cigarettes. Each day, over 300 people younger than 18 years becomes daily cigarette smokers. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, adult cigarette smoking has hit an all-time low and continues to decrease. This might be because of a ban on cigarette advertising. In 1998, a civil lawsuit against large tobacco companies called the Master Settlement Agreement banned cigarettes from all major advertising platforms, including TV and radio commercials, magazine and newspaper ads, and billboard advertisements. This massive ban on cigarette advertising was an effort to prevent the youth of America from smoking cigarettes. However, this has not stopped cigarette companies from using other platforms to subliminally advertise, specifically the highly influential medium of movies and TV shows. By having famous TV show and film actors and actresses, the youth and young adults of America have had an image of glamorized, attractive, and appealing view of cigarette and cigarette addiction. In 2016, 41% of the movies that were among the top 10 grossing movies in any calendar week included tobacco use. Smoking in the movies accounts for 37% of all smoking initiation. These films that depict cigarette smoking are not just in R-rated films. These are also in films that are rated PG and G. That means more of Americans' youth and young adults are seeing these films and being influenced by the glamorized images and visuals that these films produce. In this content analysis of high-grossing Hollywood films throughout the years and a survey that has been conducted among Grand Valley young adults, I will show that there is a significant number of people who have been influenced by these glamorous images and have either started smoking, have either wanted to smoke, or have just simply noticed it and have changed their opinions on smoking and or what smoking represents. In my content analysis, I will be analyzing scenes from movies and TV shows that portray a character smoking a cigarette. In these scenes, I will analyze the visuals that could glamorize cigarettes or influence other young adults to begin to smoke cigarettes. So why is there so much cigarette smoking in TV shows and movies? Well, a simple answer, because it looks visually appealing. Because of its aesthetic qualities, smoking in movies is popular because it just looks cool or beautiful, elegant or sexy. It could even go so far as to looking badass, showing the maturity in a character, showing desperation or stress, and in many ways, it's just an easy way to give a character a certain trait based on how they're smoking the cigarette, how they are portrayed smoking the cigarette, or what is the context that they are smoking the cigarette in. However, because these are good story and narrative reasons to put cigarette smoking in films, this does have effects on the people viewing it and their representation of what cigarettes mean to them.
After analyzing the content of the movies and TV shows that featured cigarette smoking, I decided to make a survey to gather data from young American adults around my area at Grand Valley to see if the patterns of glamorization I was seeing in my content analysis applied to real life. The data I found is as followed. So what? Why should you care? Visual media such as television and film are integral to American culture. The youth and young American adults are susceptible to the influences that they see in films and TV shows. Although it only samples a small portion of American young adults, my survey shows research-based evidence that the subliminal advertisement and glamorization does affect people's opinions on cigarette smoking. This research could be applied to real-life youths. In the visual media industry, this research can be used to create discussions on making regulations and guidelines to prevent the glamorization of cigarettes and appealing to youth and young adults. This can be done by raising the rating of films that have cigarette smoking to an R rating to deter filmmakers from including visuals of character smoking and to deter young children from watching these glamorized visuals of character smoking. This could be used to raise awareness in the public to how films and TV shows are, are influencing people on their views of cigarette smoking. Although the glamorization of cigarettes have been in media for a long time, it doesn't mean that this habit cannot be stopped. And if this habit is stopped, this could prevent more and more young Americans and adults from starting to smoke cigarettes.